lot of these cars were cars that I liked as, uh, as a kid growing up in Chicago. My dad had 442 convertibles and he used to take us everywhere with him. I was like one of the coolest kids in the neighborhood because he had that car. Out of all the cars that I own, this is probably my favorite. This is a 71 442 W30 convertible. Just always wanted a 71. I like them better than the 70s, although the 71s I think have a little bit bigger following. This has an M22 four-speed rock crusher in it. It's Viking blue with a pearl interior. A pretty rare car. They uh, only made 110 of these in 1971. And a friend of mine, Richard Cornell, who does a lot of work on uh, muscle cars, did the restoration for me on it. So it's been pretty much ground up, restored. I thought it was a rare enough car that it needed to be done. It's a fun car to drive. Yeah, it came out really nice. Well, you know, I moved from New York down here uh, about 10, 12 years ago, and I was looking for a place more so of a garage than I was a house because I'm a car guy. So over the course of about a year and a half, two years, we bulldozed the backyard, took out about 50 to 60 loads of uh, dirt to uh, build a garage. There's an apartment above it and then below it, uh, kind of a workshop. This car here is a 69 Yanko Chevelle. Again, a uh, very rare car. There's only 99 of them ever built. Uh, there's 37 left in the registry. 427, 450 horse. For back in the day, that was pretty stout. For people who weren't satisfied with the uh, performance that Chevy was doing back then, Yanko, and he would, uh, he would upgrade your car and put a 427 in it. This one is uh, Monaco Orange, and I've owned it since about 2007, I think. Incredible car. I just like to collect things from back in the day that sort of go with the whole muscle car era. So that was what any reputable mechanic would use back in the day to sort of tune up your car. Now, obviously all that went away with the computer technology, but it works and it works really well. This particular car below the AMX is a 69 Dodge Dart four-speed car. I've always liked the darts. So I looked for one of these for a long time and I wanted something that was really original. So paint's original, vinyl top's original, interior's original. And I've always wanted a dart. I've always wanted the 344 speed. A lot of times you see them, they're automatics or you see the 70 swingers, but I like the 69s. I like them, they're just sort of like understated. Pretty much a full out drag race car. This is a, a 1969 uh, super stock AMX. It's very competitive. This car is converted to 70 specs, which I kind of like because it's an interesting little story behind the car. They shipped you the front end and they shipped you a 70 rear end and they gave you a new VIN. It is super loud and super, super fast. I've owned this car for uh, probably the longest actually. So this is a 1966 F85 W30. Of the 52 W30s, 25 were in this platform. Kind of an unknown option on the cars. Uh, really weren't, wasn't that popular back in the day. So this would have been mom's grocery getter, a six cylinder usually, or a 330 in it. But if you knew your way around the option sheet, you could uh, order the L69 442 package on it. And usually when you bring it to a car show, uh, if you have the hood closed, people uh, walk by it and have no idea what it is but uh, it, it's, it's definitely a sleeper, it'll get up and go. My name is John Keneally. I live in Sandy Springs, Georgia, and I am crazy and passionate about muscle cars. <laughs>